Smartphones are increasingly packed with a larger battery for power-hungry users. However, phones with 5000mAh power battery and above are not that common. The Zenfone Max costs about $250 Singapore dollars and is packed with low to mid-range specs to achieve power efficiency. Although it does not have the top-of-the-line specs, the big battery makes up for it. The Zenfone Max looks like any other ASUS phone in their Zenfone lineup, with their signature circular rays and chin of the phone. The power and volume rocker is on the right, micro USB port at the bottom, earphone jack at the top, and the speaker grill at the back. The frame is made out of plastic which has a metal effect finish. The back is a little rounded so actually it fits nicely on the palms. The back is also textured like leather so it actually helps in the grip of the phone. The Zenfone Max weighs about 202 grams thanks to the 5000mAh battery. But the phone does not feel thick at all in the hands. I have no problems using the phone for long periods of time. As a 5.5 inch screen, using the phone one-handed will prove to be a challenge. Asus has provided a software feature which provides one-handed use. It reduces the screen to a smaller window to provide easier access. The 5.5 inch IPS screen is made out of Gorilla Glass 4. It has a resolution of 720 by 1280 pixels. One of the reasons for not choosing a full HD screen could be because they wanted to preserve battery power. As a Nexus 6 user, I could notice a difference between these two phones' resolution. It shouldn't pose much of a problem for daily usage. The brightness is decent and the colors are on the warm side. The whites are not as yellowish as the ones on my Nexus 6, but overall, the screen looks fine. The speakers at the back does provide some loudness, but it tends to distort a little when the volume is at the maximum. In landscape mode, my palms will cover the speakers sometimes, so I suggest using a earphone instead. As for the internals, this phone is powered by a quad-core Snapdragon 400 at 1.2GHz and a GPU using Adreno 306. Normal day-to-day -day functionality and usage pose no issues and multitasking is made possible with the 2GB RAM built-in. The only time performance takes a hit is playing games. Games like Dig Trigger and Asphalt Nitro took a longer time to load and the frame rate is sometimes choppy. Serious gamers will have a hard time enjoying more demanding games on this phone. The Zenfone Max is running Zen UI on top of Android Lollipop 5.0. It features many customizations like motion gestures to power management. We will look at some of the features of this phone later in this video. Bloatware is not spared on this phone which may be a turn off for some users. Unfortunately, only some bloatware can be removed except for some ASUS apps. ASUS have uh, included some power saving management that uh, you can use. Uh, one is the auto start manager. You can head over to the drop down menu and you can uh, press the auto start manager here. And uh, there's a list of uh, apps you can actually go and assess whether they can uh, auto start or not. Uh, you can press uh, deny if you don't allow it or you can press uh, toggle here to allow it to happen. But of course, they will actually prompt you that auto start will use up more memory in the long run so you can actually customize which app you actually allow it to happen they have also included the easy mode which you can head over to the settings and uh, over here 
So once you toggle on, the UI will be a simplified version of the Zen UI. So that uh, mainly for older folks who, who don't want all the more features of the phone, you can actually toggle it. So actually you can see that the buttons are all uh, uh, bigger for visually it's easy to see. And also you can uh, add different apps to the, the grid. Yeah, for example, I want a flashlight. So you can actually add it there. To exit, you can actually go back to easy mode and then you can turn it off. And you'll take right you back to the main UI. Let's say we tend to lend your phone to a kid to play some games, but you don't want him to access any other things on the phone, but the only the games that you want him to play, you can actually turn on kids mode in the settings. Turn it on. I've already set the pin password to one two three four. So when you come to the kids mode UI, you can see that you actually cannot access anything except the app that you want him to to use only. So if you press this, everything needs your pin. So you can be very sure that your the person that you lend to cannot access anything other than the apps you want him to play. So of course, if you want to exit kids mode, you have to input your pin and takes you right back to the UI. As I do not game on my mobile often, battery life was great with the 5000mAh power battery. It took around 2 full days for the battery to go to 0%. Unfortunately, the supply charger has only an output of 1A. It took over 6 hours to charge from 0% to full, which is unacceptable by today's standards. With such a big capacity battery, it should be the norm to provide fast charging technology or provide a higher speed charger. They've also included this dongle that you can uh, actually use your phone as a power bank to charge another phone. So let me demonstrate. So we'll put this dongle in. I'm actually using this uh, doctor charger to see how much output this phone uh, can output. So you can see it's charging but the, the output is rather little. So you can see that it outputs around 0.5 mA which is very little. But at least you can charge another phone if the other phone is really low on battery. The Zenfone Max uses a 30 megapixel camera with laser autofocus and LED flash. The front houses the 5 megapixel camera. The default camera app has the usual modes and toggles for photos and videos. It still provides auto mode users for those who don't want to fiddle with the settings. Personally, I use the auto mode for all my shots. What I have noticed is the shutter speed for the night shots is slow. Day shots are fine, but some parts of the photos in the sunlight appears white. Overall, the camera performs decently. I have no problems whatsoever using the camera on this phone. To sum things up, the Zenfone Max has great battery life and is suitable for overseas usage. Especially with the power bank feature, you'll never know when a friend needs more power on his phone. The battery life comes with some performance trade-offs, but for normal day-to-day -day usage, it proves to be more than adequate for my needs. At $250 Singapore dollars, you are getting a 5.5-inch phone with a decent design and an okay performance phone. If you are looking for a phone that lasts all day with normal usage, this is it. Else, for performance hungry users, this phone is not for you. Thank you for watching, this is Richard and I'll see you guys in the next video.